Hi. So I had a counseling session with someone a couple of days ago and they were, they are working through some body issues. Um, and I had this awareness that body issues are not unlike relationship issues and seems like they're totally different, but they're similar. And here is, here's where the similarity lies. So just contemplate with me for a moment. How does it feel when you're in a relationship with someone, whether that be a friendship or a family relationship, a work relationship, a romantic relationship? How does it feel when you're in a relationship with someone and you can sense or feel or know because they verbally expressed it to you that they wish you were different than how you are? How does that feel? It doesn't feel very good, does it? It, it might feel um, like you're not loved and accepted for exactly who you are. Flaws, warts, and all, right? Um, so for relationship healing to take place, we really would like to move into a space of unconditional love and acceptance of the other person for exactly who they are right now in this moment, not for the potential that we see in them and for who they could be, but for who they are right now and who they are right now, um, who they are demonstrating to you that they are in this moment. Um, you may decide that the loving choice for yourself is to step away from that relationship but that doesn't need to diminish the love, the unconditional love that you have for that person. Um, so that's where relationship healing, in my experience, takes place. When I can stop, stop holding people to this expectation of the potential that I see in them and just love and accept them for exactly who they are right here and right now without needing to change them, trusting that their path is perfect and allowing whatever unfolds in that relationship to unfold with love. Um, you know, no hard feelings either way, whatever the outcome it's, it can be challenging to get there, but it's liberating, it's powerful, and it's transformational so for relationships. So in the same way, how can you have healing in your body when you are judging your body, shaming your body, wishing your body was different, whether you have weight issues, um, chronic illness, or some other, some other issue with your body that you are judging your body for, um, you are not in a space of unconditionally loving your body. And that is the space where the miracle can come in. So, and what I mean to circle back to something I said a second ago, healing takes place at the level of the mind. This is a Course in Miracles teaching. This is um, a lot of spiritual teachings talk about this. It's also science though, and the placebo effect proves this. People who are given a sugar pill because they believe they're getting this other treatment, this other magic cure, they have the same healing that people who are given the actual peel, pill. Why is that word hard for me to say right now? As people who are given the actual pill experience. So that, what does that demonstrate that because they are believing that they're receiving a healing cure, they experience a healing. So it's the belief, it's the thought that is actually generating the healing. So Still, all of these different treatments, Eastern medicine, Western medicine, any point in between can be helpful because we are still having a human experience. We're still living 
we're having an experience of living living in density in the world of form. So do those things, but it's important to also do the work at the level of the mind to get to the root of what created the disease. So thoughts create beliefs, beliefs create um, like emotions and emotions can get lodged in our body. As we know, traumas get lodged in our body. So there's always a thought at the root of the illness that is what ultimately needs to be addressed and if it's not addressed this is why you see time and time again illnesses recurring in the body they are healed and then they come back and so it's um just like with relationship issues you may sever one relationship and then a similar relationship comes into your life, you know, months or years down the road, the form is slightly different, but the same issues are coming back into your experience to be healed. So we're working at the level of the mind and the catalyst for healing to take place is unconditional love acceptance of whatever is currently without needing it to be different. You can have a preference about something. I would prefer to maintain this friendship. I would prefer for my body to lose 20 pounds, but without attachment to that and loving the person, loving the body, regardless of whether or not, or not that happens. That's the magic sweet spot that we're trying to get to. So, um, yeah, just finding that space of surrender, acceptance, no attachment to outcome. That's the sweet spot. So, um, if you'd like support getting there, I'm still working on my spiritual counseling certification. I still need about 20 counseling sessions before I complete those requirements. And until that happens, I'm working on a donation basis. So you can pay any amount, um, and you can book a session by clicking the link in my Instagram bio. So if you found this helpful, let me know. If I was a little bit all over the place and I confused you, drop me a question. I'll be happy to go deeper into it with you. So, all right. Bye for now.